and lovely people it's me Jennifer Zilliotto back to talk about the color orange on our series a color journey this week is all about the sacral chakra and the color orange so settle in get yourself a cup of tea I've got one and let's jump right in in. So in case you missed the beginning, the introduction of the sacral chakra, you may want to go back and revisit that now just so that you're up to date with what we're talking about. And if you did watch that video, then you know that part of a balanced sacral chakra is all about creativity. And this morning I went for a walk. I've been trying to get out pretty much on a daily basis and I end up bringing along my phone and doing what I'm calling a walk and talk. Sorry, this is distracting me. Doing what I'm calling a walk and talk. So I go out for a walk, but I also talk on the phone. That way I feel like I'm getting out with a friend for a walk. And it's been really nice and, and key for my mental health. So this morning I was talking with a really good friend on my walk and talk. And we were talking about how kind of uninspired she's feeling and a little bit overwhelmed. And this month has been truly challenging for many of us. And we were saying how, we finished off the conversation with how important to feeling good and being, feeling good and feeling present and coping with this overall pandemic is the importance of beauty and creativity. As you know, I'm a very creative person. I really do live my life in a creative way in so many aspects, whether it comes to what I'm reading, whether it comes to how I'm dressing, what I'm cooking, or what I'm drawing. So today I thought it would be fun for me to show you how I have been drawing lately. So about two years ago, I invested in an iPad and it has been a game changer for me when it comes to drawing. I downloaded an app called Procreate and I have been drawing on my iPad ever since. You probably have noticed that because my drawings look slightly different than they do when they're on paper. Um, it's been a big learning curve, which has been really great. And it's been a lot of fun. So. Get yourself a cup of tea, like I said, and let me show you how I do this. Okay, so here I am in the app. It kind of looks like this. I've got all my um, artwork here, as you can see. And I decided to, I'm gonna actually draw a quote for the website. Um, something I've been needing to do, and I thought, what perfect opportunity then to do it together. So. For the website, I like to make the background black. So I'm going to tap onto this layer here and I am going to find myself a black that I like. Um, here, I'm going a little fast, I realized, but here I know in my color wheel that right at the bottom is a true black. Up here, you can see I have a paintbrush icon and I'm, I tend to use this, um, brush all the time because I like it. So that's what I'm going to use today. Here I'm going back to choosing my color. I'm going to do white and this is going to be simply a black and white um, quote. I found a quote. I thought it was kind of cute and I thought it was perfect for today and that is some days, oops, made a mistake. So I'm going to erase by double tapping. Oop. You just have to make your own sunshine. Cute! But I have to say, I feel like that's not quite right in the right spot. So I'm gonna take this little icon here so that I can move it over. And I have to say, what I'm really loving about this iPad is or this app on the iPad is 
it's so fast. Um, I gotta admit one other thing. I feel like the writing looks a little bit messy because it's big. So I am going to erase and completely start over. You're gonna have to bear with me here. Some days you just have to make your own sunshine. I don't wanna forget what I'm writing. So here I'm gonna take this um, size and I'm gonna make my pen a little bit darker, um, smaller. Some days, this looks cute. You just have, I'm gonna fix that E to make your own sunshine. Cute, I'm quite happy with that. I might make it just a little bit smaller. Lovely, mm, taking a sip of tea. A very simple quote, but I thought it worked. Now, here on this side, I have layers. I've been really playing around with this, discovering how it works. And it's nice, especially when you have a um, writing and then you wanna do a drawing, because in case you make a mistake on either, you don't have to um, change everything because they're not on the same layer. I hope that makes sense. And now I'm going to draw, of course, a cute little sunshine. Um, it's funny because this is something that I had been fiddling with recently. I couldn't, I tend to redraw suns over and over and over. It's one of my little kind of doodles. And I couldn't figure out what made a sun better than another. And it finally took me all this time, if you can believe it. And that is the fact that the lines don't meet up with the sun. I'm gonna show you what I mean because I think it's actually kind of cute. I'm gonna add another layer and get rid of this one so that you can see what I'm saying in terms of the sun. So here we go, we're gonna redo the sun but with the lines connected. And do you see what I mean? It doesn't quite look right kind of looks like a messy flower and then I also dabbled with this but this also doesn't work it took me forever you'd think such a childlike drawing I mean this is kind of cute but I like this other guy better the only problem I'm going to be nitpicky here is I feel like oops I feel like my um writing is stunting the growth of these rayons slightly. I'm going to go back to that layer and I'm going to move up my cute sunshine a little bit. Lovely. And now we want to color him in, of course, so I get the fun part. And here, what I love about this app is I can choose my own palettes and how perfect I've got one called sunny days so basically i create them myself i play around with different colors and i tap them in and you can create colors here on your color wheel as you can see voila so if i wanted a less bright yellow i can do that but i quite liked that big sunny yellow i think he's cute <clears throat> And of course, I'm going to give him some orange cheeks because why not? And here, oh, there are so many different brushes, as you can see. And I really like the gouache brush in the painting for kind of like a, a painterly sort of look, a watercolory look. If I make this um, paintbrush bigger, you're going to see even better. How cute is he? I'm going to go back to my regular brush here, oops. <clears throat> and I'm gonna add a little bit more of the sun rays because we really want to have, oops, a sunny day. And maybe I don't do it in orange, maybe yellow is better.
and such a simple thing. But this makes me really happy. And voila. Or maybe I will give him a little bit of orange. Why not? Like, he's really sunny. He's just radiating sun and heat and happiness. Cute. And then I can shrink this. He's kind of like my Rasta sun. Do I want to add more? And voila. Tying it all in together. I'm going a little crazy here, but he's a happy son. I'm gonna again, oops, make the writing a little bit smaller. It looks a little bit big, don't you think? We really want our son to kind of shine. And then finally, done with perfect. Save it as a PDF, save image, and voila. So there you go, my friends. I hope you liked this video. I hope you feel inspired to start a creative pro project for yourself in the weeks coming. Literally, you can do something for five minutes a day. It will help balance out that sacral chakra, keep your mood feeling uplifted, and keeping yourself feeling happy and inspired. So if you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. Leave a comment down below. You know I love hearing from you. And of course, for more style ideas and more inspiration, you can continue to follow me on Facebook, and on Instagram.